Hello, welcome back to Mediocre Risk. Uh, my name is Ryan. I play as Wade Fujita. Um, the whole gimmick of this is that I am a mediocre uh, risk player. I'm currently ranked 21, 265, which is on the high end of where I typically am, usually in the high teens. Um, I play my best, and it's not always that great. So we're going to try today to do some ranked um, classic fixed, which is what I always play. See if there's a game that I can hop into. I always like hopping into other people's lobbies. Although I don't, I don't like playing with four players. I try to do five or more. This seems like the right one to hop into. All right, we've got three of us, four of us. All right, so we have classic fixed, medium neutral bots, 60 second timers. Hey, my name is Ryan, and there is a Canadian Ryan in here. My family is from Canada. Well, not originally. My grandmother was born there, but she's only second generation, third generation, something like that. Um, so I'm playing white in this game, and we will see what our setup looks like for this. I believe I said 31st mediocre risk video. Uh, I got nine troops already in North America. I could do Australia, although that's not my desire for sure. Um, yeah, we're definitely going to put troops up here. We will move to Ontario, and then I'm going to try to signal to these people that I would like to get out and see if red will end up moving. I have a feeling red may try to come down, given the number of troops they have in this area, but we will find out. Somebody request an alliance. I like to request and accept as many alliances as I can possibly get, just to get a sense of who I am playing with. Um, all right, so there's Ryan. Red is Skitch. I believe that we have played together before. Dylan Tyree is unfamiliar to me. Need to send some thumbs up and hearts back to Red. Oh, blue is wearing themselves out up there. That's wonderful. Wit Steel and Green General Hail 5759. I've definitely played against the General Hail, but with all the numbers, who knows? Uh, Black has decided they want this, and I will be happy to leave Black if Red will just let me out. I'm going to tell Red that they should attack Orange and see if they will listen to me and get out of Siam. That would be awesome if they would do me that favor. Nobody's botted, right? So no bots in here. Just uh, trying to settle up. Red's in North America. Green might want to come through to South America. All right, they're going to do it. He is going to do it. Thumbs up. Yes, we love it. Big hearts for our friend Skitch. Awesome. So that means when it comes to my turn again, I can just stack. Oh, no. Is Orange going to hit me? Don't hit me, Orange. I can stack here in Ontario and get my troops out. Awesome. Look at that. Everyone is moving out of my way. All right, so we will take the card there and get out of the way. Black's my friend now because I left Australia, even though there's two other colors trying to get in there. We want to encourage as many people to get into Australia as possible because they will all kill each other, and that will make the game easier to win. So green is stacking up there, but they're leaving. So now we just have this one red guy, maybe the black, so... I think on the next turn, if I can fortify these troops out of Greenland, Black may also leave. Let's see what Black does here on their turn. Blue is definitely interested in taking Africa. Um, I've got two there, but no real way to... I mean, I guess I can try and run out that two on the 2v1, although that's not always the smartest thing to do. I mean, a 3v1 is one thing. 2v1, um, you'd almost rather have the two there and force someone to hit it, which is worse for them. Uh, 
Well, I've got plenty of places to get cards up here. So I don't think I'm going to be helpful to blue in that instance. Here comes Skitch, who I just helped out. Oh, they put... They're going to leave. Okay. He's going this way. That's interesting, Skitch. Please continue to go. All right, so now I've allied with everyone in the game. That's interesting. I don't know why Red put troops in over here. I don't want him coming into North America. I want him going to Australia. Great, so Orange puts a little bit of a block on him coming this direction. Which is wonderful. Um... We want to bring those troops down. So what I'm going to do is take a card over here and then bring these troops down so that black can potentially get out of there and clear some stuff out for me. So if I need to turn in, I've got a, a good trade to do. And now they've created space for me to get another card over here. So I'll be able to stack again. Blue's moving through Africa. They're going to take it already? Yeah. Ooh, blue's fast. Wit steel. So they've got a continent. I don't know if anyone's going to let them keep that. We'll see. Orange and black and red are all sort of fighting pretty well up here. Black's getting out of my bonus, though, so that's good. Give them a thumbs up for that. See if red continues to move out or if they're being a menace. Yeah, red's continuing to move out. They're setting up a kill on orange? Is this the plan? That would be interesting. Give red a thumbs up. That's good. I wonder if someone would let me take North America so soon. Red's been a good friend. Orange is not a good friend of blue. I have the trade available, but I don't want to use the wild card if I don't have to. Um, I do want to get blue out of here because I don't really trust them. So we're just going to take a few on this turn and not the whole continent just yet. Gosh, I still don't have the turn in I want. But I may take the bonus next time. We'll find out. So I could put three here, take it with a small guard, and go up this way. All right, so blue is aggressive, especially towards people who break them. Got to see if orange will get mad and come across again. They could do the five into three into one. Black's definitely biding time up there. Ooh, they hit my two, though. That's not cool. But they are leaving, so I guess I can't complain about that. I think I'll take the bonus this time. No one's really in a position to knock me out. Especially if red takes another spot over there. Yeah, so red definitely can't take me out. They can damage me, but they couldn't take me out. Orange is mad. And they've turned in. Are they going to go hit red? Is this a scenario where I can take red out? No. They don't want me to have a bonus. Okay. So we are going to take it just to see what all of my opponents think about it. And we're going to be friendly with black by fortifying... 
most of them the other direction and see if anybody's cool with this. So green is happy taking Europe. All right. They definitely could have done some damage to me if they had wanted to, but they're happy with Europe. And that'll give blue someone to mess with? What is blue doing up there, though? Oh, they're taking orange out of everywhere. That's an interesting plan. I kind of like it. I'm friendly with red. I'm friendly with black so far. We'll see what black does here. Yeah, they're moving back. So I definitely want to get these troops over there out of the way. Because it looks like Black's headed south. So Red is going to use this 14 as their Asian exterior position. And they're just going to take South America, which I'm quite happy with. They're doing neutral guard in South America. I gotta watch blue. I mean, blue's not threatening me, but I don't quite trust them. Orange is encouraging black to leave, which is an interesting deal. No, we want to use Quebec as the extra... I'm putting one more there, and then the rest are going up here, and then we're leaving to get out of Black's way, which is clearly what they want, and then we'll stick these guys up here. We've got weak guards against Europe and South America. If green really wants to hit me, green's going to hit me. There's nothing I can do about that. I don't want to lose too many troops up there. Green's happy taking Europe. So we'll give him the thumbs up. And the heart. He's doing a passive guard on me. No need to put any more troops there. Blue is going to try to take out green. No, they aren't. I thought he was going to do that. I thought blue was going to go after green. Guess he thought better of it. Is black going to take out orange? Is he going to go at him full bore or wait? He's Oh, he's trapping orange in there. Good gosh, black, what are you doing? That does not seem like the smartest move in the world. But it is what it is, I guess. All right, so now we've sort of devolved into a stalemate. Blue seems the most likely to instigate. But we have to see what orange is going to do. They're taking no cards. They're just sitting there. So we have two wilds now. Uh, I'm not going to worry about that. We're going to add one troop there. Everything else goes over here, and I am going to move this stack into Kamchatka. And we will end and fortify there. So that does give some incentive for either green or red to break me. I'm, I'm giving them a loyalty test here. Because I can't really respond with this giant stack. I'm locked here between the 20 and my own. So it really seeing if they want to be advantageous and aggressive or not. And it looks like so far green and blue have not taken the bait. Blue's getting ready to come take black out. As soon as they get this. They'll have three cards. Oh, he's slow rolling? Why would you do that? 
you should definitely blitz that. That's going to be more than 50%. If it's a, more than 50% to blitz, you should blitz. If it's less, slow rolling works fine. But if it's a more than 50% chance, always blitz. Um, and the reason for that is just the odds at 50% and up go up. Uh, the odds at 50, below 50% go down. So you want to slow roll below 50 and blitz above. He just weakened them, but then s gave them a chance to leave? It's an interesting play. Orange seems content to not take cards because that makes them a bigger target. And Black's content to lose slowly. Blue's trying to choke stuff off over here. Is Orange going to try to leave? No. They're just tempting fate. Uh, I'm going to have to use one of the wilds at some point anyway, so I might as well trade it in now. Um, and we are just going to merge these stacks together right up here in Kamchatka. So I'm feeling pretty good about where I am. 71, pretty far ahead of green in Europe, and they're much more in the thick of stuff. Blue's been aggressive in the past, so I like having them a little farther away from me. He's now got a very large stack. Question is whether they're going to want me to get locked up there. I mean, I am sort of, I guess I could go through Europe if I wanted to get somebody. But I am locked off from this Australia area if one of these happens to attack each other. Oh, hit me, Black. Yeah, all right. So Black has now opened my big stack, which I love. And if and when the inevitable confrontation happens down here, I will be able to make a decision about it. Especially as the one who acts after Orange. All right, Black's going to have to make a choice. I really do not want to lock myself up here, but I might have no choice when it comes to taking cards. Is there anyone worth going after? If I was going to go after someone, it would have been green on this turn. But that would leave me vulnerable, and blue is opportunistic, so... definitely would not have done that. Yeah, I'm probably going to have to lock my stack up there. Oh, now they're trapping both of those in Australia? We've card blocked the two of them. So black is just going to have to hit orange. Green wants me to attack red? Why would I do that? Black's just going to have to hit. No, they're going to wait. No one's going to have five cards down there. I don't want to trap my stack, but I don't really have any choice. If green wants to attack somebody, green's just going to have to do it. Uh, definitely not using the wild card there. Um, I mean, I guess I'm trapping the stack. I'm going to leave this one open, at least, without fortifying back. So I have something. And I have a turn in if I need it, so I can get up to 20. Now we see if green attacks me. 
Is green going to get aggressive? Black is still throwing me hearts. Green's just taking more territory. Ah, they're moving out. Okay, who are they going to go after? That could be an interesting move. I mean, at this point, I could bring my whole stack out. Someone could go break me, but... I could just go back on them. Black's upset. With me? Or with everyone in general? They're just going to be stuck down there until green does something. And I'm hopeful that green is my friend and not coming after me. Although green could very well just break everybody. They could go down here, take out South America, hit me. They don't like how aggressive green is being towards them. Yeah, orange has no incentive to hit anything. Because the second they get a third card, they're going to be bait. Uh, I don't want to use that yet, so we're just going to keep this exterior moving. Um, I don't want to be completely trapped up there. All right, I can get a good turn in next time uh, with troops on Central America, too. So green is readying themselves, but they're not aggressively moving yet. I'm getting bigger bonuses because no one is attacking my territories up here because nobody wants to open my big 59 stack. Black and orange are just increasing. They're going to get to the point that it's not really valuable for either of these players up here to go after them. You know? Which is kind of interesting. All right, so we have another turn in. We want Central America to get a few. Going to add one there. Going to add three there. Going to add one here to make it a scary 60. And then we're just going to continue to move outward. I know someone's going to get upset with me and attack at some point, but that point is not today. So... We will continue to see what's going on. All right, so he's moving. Trying to block off blue? No. They're doing a, a larger locked threat stack? Does he think I'm going to invade over here? That's not happening. I'll just sit and take cards before I do that. I'm getting a bigger bonus than everybody. Why would I not just sit here? Someone's going to have to do something. We're in the weirdest stalemate. I've never been in a game like this before, but... I am the beneficiary of this game and the stalemate, so it behooves me to just keep it going. Is black botted? Is black going to finally take him out? If black botted, Next turn, black's going to hit orange. And then red will go in and take those cards. And then blue will take out red. Is this how this is going to go? I'm unsure. 
Black did not bot. So is orange going to do? I think they're trying to get them to trade cards down here. So they don't die. Is this the plan? All right, so we're going to keep building up this exterior. And now we're going to trade cards up here. Take the card, move it back. Nice. Got three cannons. Might as well turn those in. Keep the troop count high. Save the wild card. I mean, it does not serve... I mean, I guess if green doesn't care about getting second, this serves them just fine, because green and I are expanding a lot faster than everybody else. If and when black decides to bot. See, like, now this is the... This is the thing. If they start trading cards down here, they're going to force one of these guys to act. Red doing. Red's debating. Right. So they're continuing to trade cards. And orange and black are going to trade cards. And we're all just going to continue in this strange stalemate. No, they didn't do it. That's fascinating. Uh, do I want them in Mongolia? I think I would rather have them in Mongolia, honestly. So we will continue with the card trade so long as it's beneficial for us. And the longer this goes on, the better it is. And we just keep doing it. Till somebody decides to make a move. It's strange that Orange didn't... Oh, are they going to team up? No, nope, he just took them out. What did he lose on that? He lost 37 to take 37. Okay. So he's got extras. He's also going to take black. Oh, he forgot the slider. He almost missed it. Okay, so blue is almost gone. Blue has got four cards now? At 27? And red is up. Is red going to take out blue for five cards? You would expect that they would do that. Right? The question is, what's green going to do in response to that? So red gets an additional 14 troops, which is very much a threat to green. And they're going to guard. OK. So then I think this is my best play. 
I activate all of my troops and challenge someone to break me, right? Because now green is going to have to do something. And they're going to sit. They're getting 12. And I'm getting 12? Is that where we're at? Am I just getting 10? I'm just getting 10. And they're getting 12. Yes, red. We can fight green. Do I need red to make the first move? So now it's my turn. And I'm going to move troops up there. How many do I want to keep back in reserve? I'm going to go the other way. We're going to keep, what, 20? I'm going to do it just like that. Create some blocks for them and see what they do about it. All right, moving into one big stack. So they've opened that up to green. Oh, and they're single stacking. Well, I would also like to single stack. Um, And then we're going to move down this direction so I can single stack to see what green is going to do here. Please go after red. Oh. I see. Is red going to come after me now? No one's actually wanted to put a blow in on green. So red's going to hit my 24. No, they're still attacking green. I love that you are being friendly. We are single stacking to be ready for whoever comes after us. I feel like this is the way to lose, but I also don't want to be the one who gets whacked by green, although I feel like that's going to happen. So, Is red going to come after me yet? The longer I can go before red comes after me, the better off I'm going to be. Uh, there's still a wild card. I don't want to use that yet. All right. We are going to keep stacking here. And now we'll see what happens with red. I don't know if green green is gonna turtle. Interesting. They're gonna wait and see. 
What's red going to do? Is red going to break me? I need to open the path for red to attack them. That's what I need to do. I don't have a trade that I want just yet. So what I'm going to do is open the path for them by taking as many territories as I possibly can and then leaving space for red to go hit. And we'll see green is turtling. So now I leave them space to attack and they're gonna send out so many. And how many does he hit? He just took them. So I guess I'm winning. He just give me the game. That's cool. Or is he going to run through the whole place? Or is he just going to sit? Oh. That's cool. No, he is going to try and win. By breaking all bonuses. But it shouldn't matter because I've got pretty decided troop advantage here. It's nice of Red to help me out though, I guess. Might take a couple of turns, but... I'm in no hurry. I've got plenty of troops, and I just need to break bonuses. Where is he going to sit? That's the question. Okay. All right. So let's get started. All right. We are going this way, and we'll send a few troops down here. But that should be plenty. And then we just follow the path until we get to red and hope we have enough time. Maybe we will, maybe we won't, but it's only a matter of time. I'm not as fast as some other people because I'm just using the touchpad on my laptop. I don't have a mouse. I've tried using the mouse, but I'm not particularly fast at it because I don't ordinarily use it. So. And there you have it. We got a nice win because Red was very kind and decided they didn't want a protracted game and just took second place. It's nice when somebody's happy with second place. Um, green was a master. Red was an expert. Blue was an expert. Wow, I should get quite a few points for winning this one. Uh, 22, 281. I forget where I was when we started, but I think I'm considerably higher now, right? I think it was 21 something. Well, thanks for watching this. Um, I guess it was a relatively high level game with a very fortunate ending. Uh, till next time, this has been Mediocre Risk.